Hey, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Zyfox here. We're back with another Genshin Impact video. Today, we're going to actually go through a character um, trailer breakdown um, for Zhang Li. They actually released this character demo earlier today, so we're going to take a look at it. We're going to react to it first, and then we're going to break down anything that we see in the trailer, kind of talk about it a little bit, and then we'll go over some more stuff with Zhang Li later in the video. Um, if you guys want, obviously, you know, if you guys like the video, feel free to leave a like, subscribe for, for more, obviously, and uh, yeah, let's get into it. Let's get into it. Let's just cut all the talk. Let's get into it. We last left off with ancient Liyue, beset by an ocean demon and a mountain dragon. All right. Rex Lapis mustered his adepti hmm. to restore peace to the land. They say that before he set out, he spoke these words. Here we go. Vagamundo, Zhongli. I can't, I cannot wait to get this character. That's very interesting. We're gonna come back to this. We're gonna come back to that. That's very, very interesting. I did not know that he could do that. This is an age of gods and monsters. I wish not for dominion. Yet I cannot watch the common folk suffer. I will have order. There goes his ultimate. Okay. It petrified even them. Oh wow. Okay, okay. We're we're definitely gonna we're gonna go back and we're gonna rewatch this definitely. To cleanse the land and defend our safe harbor. That was the first contract in Leo. And now, the final contract, too, has been set in stone. Okay, so now that now that we've completely watched that, one big thing um that I want to skip back to is definitely right here. So we're actually gonna slow this down too. Um We'll go at about half speed. That way you guys can see right here. This next frame. So when he uses his E, all at first the description of his skill was like, you know, all geo constructs, you know, on the field resonate with his uh with his elemental skill. Um, but I thought that only went as far as, you know, geo constructs made by like the player, you know, like Ning Wong's shield or or, you know, main character's uh, E skill will drop that little boulder and stuff like that. I didn't think that it actually resonates with enemies and actually breaks their shields as well. This would actually be really, really useful. And this is what will actually, like, make Zhongli, like, super, 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 super good. Is the fact that he can destroy other enemies, you know, objects and stuff like that. Obviously, that probably works with that, um, with that Geo Hillichurl that makes, like, the uh, those pillars for enemies to stand on, too. So he can probably break those, too, from the looks of this. But uh, the next thing I wanted to actually look at was um, this right here. So he's taking damage from a lot of enemies, as we can see. Um, we have a couple of Hillichurls, a Midichurl, and from what it looks like, an Abyss Mage um, right here. So Zhongli's shield, from what I've heard, at level 1 is stronger than Diona's shield at level 9. So I don't know if that's just, you know, 5-star scaling or anything like that. But from the looks of it, he seems to be really, really good in terms of shield. So it looks like, um, you know, Bolide might be good on him as well as um, Petra, just in case. I I'm not sure exactly how his Crystal Eyes will work with his Jade Shield. But, you know, if that is the case, then it looks like Bolide will be a really, really good set on him. Um, and then the last thing is definitely right here. When he's inside of the domain, we see he's surrounded by a bunch of Lava Trails. I wish not. And where I, the part that I want to skip to is actually right here. So when his ult hits, this actual, this frame right here. So when his ult hits, as you guys know, he petrifies everybody. What I didn't know and what I actually came to realize is that he can petrify enemies through their own shields. So I don't know if you guys know, obviously Geo Slimes, the large Geo Slimes have shields that you have to break before you actually deal damage to them. 
And then these big guys right here, these lava churls, these guys right here have a huge geo shield that surrounds them um, when you first fight them. And you have to break them or, you know, either break them or just defeat them through reactions and stuff like that. This right here is what I really think will set Zhongli apart from other um, characters in the game. Mainly because if this means that his ult can petrify enemies through their shields, that could potentially work with the Fatui Skirmishers, Pyro Shooter, the Geo Chanters, the Electro Hammers, and the Cryo and Hydro um, Shooters. Those could, It could potentially work against those. And if Zhongli can petrify enemies through shields, then that just means... Um, you know, that just means big damage for, like, the rest of your party. So, if this is what this character, you know, has the potential to do, then Zhongli is a lot better than we thought. He is absolutely a lot better than we thought. And it's going to take a lot of testing, which I will do personally because I plan on pulling for him. Um, it'll take a lot of testing to find out what exactly he can and can't petrify. But from the looks of it right now... He could potentially petrify every enemy in the game except for like bosses and stuff like that and that's huge you know in terms of like you know farming or anything like that or just dealing more damage to enemies and stuff like that i feel like this will be extremely helpful in spiral abyss yeah spiral abyss with zhongli could potentially be like one like one of the best things in the game um and i'll, I'll be going over a zhongli guide um once the character comes out once i've done some more testing that way i could give you guys like a best set kind of thing and everything like that but definitely definitely from the looks of it guys Zhongli is gonna this character is a lot better than we thought he's definitely a lot better than we thought and we're definitely gonna do some more testing and everything just so I can find out you know exactly what he, what he can and can't petrify like I said but the DPS tests on this guy are gonna be is definitely gonna be insane I would say if you don't want to use him as a straight DPS like if you want to use him as a support you know what I'm saying? That can, you know, provide really strong shields, extremely strong shields to the rest of your party or just straight up, you know, if, or, you know, as a petrifier, you know, like you give him energy recharge and spam his ult because his ult does have, um, it's only, it only costs 40 energy and I believe it has a pretty low cooldown too. So, you know, stacking energy recharge is like a real, as like a subset on this guy might be pretty viable. Um, if you guys want to use him as like a petrify, like constant petrify support type of build, stuff like that. But, you know, we'll get into that when he when he releases uh, later uh, later today or maybe tomorrow by the time most of you guys are watching this video. To cleanse the land and defend our safe harbor. That was the first contract in Leo. And you see we has he has his little fake vision too. And now. Just like the final contract too has been set in stone. Yeah, so I'm. This made me extremely, extremely, extremely excited to get this character now, um, because that just that showcase alone on how we can petrify enemies through their own shields is huge, and I just I can't wait to test him out and see what and see what he can do. But um, that's gonna do it for this video right here, guys. If you guys just leave a like on the video, subscribe for more Genshin Impact content. My name is iFox, and I will see you guys later. Take care, everybody.